Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. This is going to be uh, one of the Cats Hit the Deck reviews. So the deck that I'm hitting is the Aquarian Tarot. So this is what they look like on the back. This is a newer version, I guess. Um, so here's a little... I think it came in a cardboard box, I want to say. I don't think it was just shrink-wrapped. Um, but it was like cheap and broken or flappy so I threw it out so this is sort of like I think what the front was, was looking like by US Games which printed my mini writer weight as well so these cards are directional if you look at them you can see that there's a darker blue jaggedy swirly thing up here and then there's this lighter blue and white here and then it's semi-directional. Um, it's not that hard to tell whether they're upside down or not, but um, the way that the lines are broken up kind of makes it slightly not glaringly obvious, but you can still tell. So originally, oh, so illustrated by David Palladini. I think this originally came out in the 70s, so I just found out recently that the original back of the deck was um, orange with like a um, infinity symbol snake, and then they were just like plain solid blue. So this one, not as quite as cool as the snake, um, but definitely better than plain blue. Right, so they have a border. Um, I trimmed my deck, so it smaller and no longer has the border on it but it comes with a little pamphlet so there's a six of cups on the front and then there's little descriptions of the cards little cliff's notes there spread and some other information So I have trimmed my deck, it's like 4 millimeters smaller all the way around, and because it came out a little bit strange on the fronts, I had to fill in the gaps uh, between the little bars with a uh, black sharpie. So they are okay now. But when I first started, it's like once you cut one of the cards, you're kind of screwed and you have to do the rest of them. So you can see um, when I hold them up like this where I've markered them with the sharpie, and on some of the bottoms as well. Um, but it, it works. It's, it's, again, it's smaller. It's, I'm not, I haven't used it that much since I trimmed it, so I'm not used to the smaller dimensions yet, because I used it like this for about two years, so, to get used to it. Um, okay. So we have the Fool here. I th again, I think this was made in the 70s. They have a very, like, antiquated feel to them. I just, I like the style of art. It's like a... Is it Art Deco more than Art Nouveau? One of those. Let's see what my calendar is. Is it kind of similar? Oh, it doesn't say. Well, whatever this style is. It's like that style. I think it's Art Nouveau. Anyway. So we have the fool. He's got the white rose, like the uh, like from the death card. He kind of looks like the page of wands, kind of off the bat. Uh, he doesn't have his dog because there's no room because most of these are close ups. Um, but you can tell it's a young lad. He's got his he's got a wand from the wand suit as well, but it like instead of a a bindle. He's he's setting out on his journey there. I, another thing that I like about the Fool card is that the O's are in a Vesica Pisces. So, peep that shit right there. Magician. He looks stoned as hell, too. I love all these little um, detailed swirlies and textures and stuff. And some of it right here, too. It's very, um, like, branchy and feathers and, like, fur kind of looking stuff. Um, but again, it's like, it's like a watercolor with, uh, 
thin cartoon lines. It gives it a little bit of a stained glass feel, but but like an old poster feel, like the the calendar that I showed. Um, so he's got the infinity over his head. He's got all the tools there, and his uh, belt is an Araboros snake or Ouroboros. I know I don't know. Nobody's ever told me how to pronounce that correctly. The High Priestess here looking like a combination of Snow White and the Evil Queen. Mountains and stuff. I actually don't really like this High Priestess that much, but I mean it's it's a nice drawing and it's interesting. A little bit of Mona Lisa vibes maybe. Uh, the Empress. So some of these figures have like their body is like a big block of color and it kind of kind of reminds me of the Muppets a little bit. Anyway, um, she's got a big stele with the Venus symbol on it. Very detailed. There's the Emperor. Looking very Eastern in his ways. The Hierophant. He's got one of those uh, TV rods up from the top of the house. Seen those in a couple of different Hierophant decks. I mean, you know what I mean. It's kind of angular down here, and the keys make me think of uh, the kite there with Benjamin Franklin. But again, it's like very much like lines and pattern and texture and color and like a lot of different layers. That's what I like about this. This is very detailed. I actually, I really like this lover's card. Again, it's just full on like 70s vibes for me. And the chariot. I'm not sure. I'm never sure what the hell this shape is supposed to be. I think maybe that's supposed to be the front of the chariot. But again, it's very textured. It looks like a portal. He's ready for battle. Oh, he just got like moon epaulets. I haven't really noticed that. Strength card. So it, it's weird because there isn't a lion here. There's like a dog maybe. But he looks like um, kind of like a samurai. An unusual strength card. Number eight in this deck. And then we have the hermit. Classic hermit. I love this structure down here. And his lamp. My doctor says my lamp. Uh. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. Pretty bad. This actually kind of looks like, to me, what the chariot should look like. But that's alright. It's a wheel. There's snakes. It's all good. we got Taurus and Leo down here. There should be... Aquarius and Scorpio too, but I don't actually see those on here unless that's what those I guess these are eels look more like eels and again I've like trimmed these and all altered the deck but uh, like the only difference is that there would be like a white space down here between the lines and so I haven't changed them that much I haven't altered the images so to speak. So we have 11, Justice, Lady Justice. With, oh, the scales look kind of weird there. Partly because there's only one, but um, the, it wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have cut that off. It would have just been a white border over here. And then a sword. It does give me, it gives me kind of like, um, how much time have I got? This deck does give me a little bit of yellow submarine vibes. I'm gonna get the this over here. It's not exactly the same, but maybe this one is upside down. It's the same kind of like super detail kind of situation here. See what I'm talking about? Yellow submarine. So you can see it in these like leaf structures. That's what that makes me think of. There's some more down here. That's what these and the yellow submarine came out in '67, but this is more of a 
the 70s was more like earth tone but with like the same kind of vibe so that's what this gives me so the hangman it looks like alan cumming and he's also got acid reflux death card kind of like voldemort there okay you now this normally has a white flower on it but the flower on here is like charcoaly and um the rider weight there's a sunshine between the two pillars from the moon and here it's like two very phallic towers but in a red sunset or sunrise i mean the sunrise on the new day um so aside from this close-up here um this carries over from the traditional rider weight pamela coleman smith edition temperance great bird here an angel even like owl tummy also looks like she's wearing a space helmet i mean she's she but it could be gender neutral i like this devil card because it's um it's like a skeleton bat situation and the fire is like pointy mountains and this fire paintbrush thing here it's just different a lot of more beige than the devil tends to be the tower so there's no people jumping out of the tower but we do have flames and we do have lightning bolts which are often seen and we have a whole lot of water down here so sometimes the tower has water under it and sometimes it doesn't it's just like spray and steam and all that very violent and active i really like that one and we have the star so this has like a portal and a bird of paradise there's like dark clouds and mountains sort of textural details vibing this font down here and so the bird of paradise and the star so the moon card you know it's just not much to say it kind of looks like a bowling alley and the sun card good day sunshine this is some of these look kind of like um like neon signs a little bit i dig it judgment card so there's no people here but we have well, we do have occasionally the horns and then a cross flag um sun rising and stuff so some of the same similar things just no no zombies this perm here jesus christ um so we have the world card the sort of orientalism going on here with this outfit the um Um, what was I going to say? Oh, this, the woman in the middle of the, the wreath here on the world card is unusual because she's wearing a full set of clothes and a turban. And then we have the four symbols here, Taurus, uh, Scorpio is an eagle here. We have Aquarius with the person and then Leo down here. A lot of texture okay so the wands in this deck are called rods which we do see sometimes in different decks and they really give off the the uh, yellow submarine vibes for me um with the rods here and they're usually flowering so if the ace it's giant it's huge it's going to be eating a dentist next week so we have the two of rods here Sort of the basic situation of the guy with the crystal ball and the two rods. Again, it's an extreme close-up, but check out the detail on his gloves. Pretty sweet. Uh, sometimes the there'll be uh, like emblems on here. Here it's um, flowers. And I noticed that on a lot of the characters in this deck, there's symbols uh, on their on their sleeves. 
and the other rod is in profile. And then the three of rods. So you have the guy looking out on the horizon. A lot of them have like nubbly weird hats. Makes them look like a pachycephalosaurus. Um, so there's no ships, but we just have this like brilliant white, like a blank sheet of for the future. Which I had not noticed before. But again, there's a lot of detailing in the clothes and everything. Which I enjoy quite a bit. <clears throat> oh. So the four of rods. So we have this um, arbor situation happening here. And then the castle in the background. Pretty standard, even though, I mean, it's a close-up of the, the things here. But more or less standard, just that 70s earth tones. Five of Rods, also pretty standard. Although they're, they don't look like they're actively hitting each other. They look like they're just kind of um, dicking around um, because they're bored. Like they're not like super angry in this. This guy looks like he has an axe to grind, but everyone else is just kind of like waiting for the tower to give them some orders or something. They're, they're like those uh, guys in the barracks that were jousting with mop buckets. They're just kind of bored. Six of Rods. Pretty typical. We got the horse. We got the wreath. We got the guy. Pretty standard. Seven of Rods. You cannot go in this guy's bakery. He will fuck you up. I'm just kidding. But I mean, this is sort of a standard representation. There's, you know, rods coming up and then the guy's trying to bar the way. Although you don't normally see the person holding the seventh rod horizontally. So that's a little different. Eight of rods. Kind of the same as usual. Nine of rods. So we have an extreme close up of this guy who's been on duty for a long ass time. Ten of Rods, also pretty standard. It's you can't really see the bundle, the, like where the the um, choke point is on this bundle of rods um, because it's so close up. But this guy is straining so hard he's not even looking at the camera. Okay. So Page of Rods, he's like coming out of a marsh, which I always find kind of interesting. This kid has got his hat pulled down really tight. Knight of Rods. Alright. A lot of texture. His rod is pretty pretty honking too. He's he's up close so much that you don't see a horse, but I mean his rod is much thicker because he's he's got like more of a battering ram than a, a branch. But all uh, and all I think I think all of the the knights have uh, helmets with plumes on them. I could be mistaken though. I'll have to check. Knight of Rods. And the Queen of Rods here. She has a sunflower, but it's on all these muted tones. All the faces are very, like, lightly done. They all look kind of ghosty. Okay, and here's the king. He's got, like, a He's got like a hood ornament and a headlight on his head. You know, where would you want to wear? We don't judge. He has a pretty big rod, too. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups. I really like this card. Not only is the cup friggin' enormous, but these lotuses are ginormous as well. And the sun with its red center spewing forth from the open mouth of the Ace of Cups. I really like that texture. Fucking. Yeah. Two of Cups. Pretty standard, but we have this. Oh, she might she... Is she pregnant or is that. Maybe she's pregnant. I never noticed that before. Is that like Romeo and Juliet here with her long flowing tresses or like Rapunzel? Three of Cups. So we have a. Look at this friggin' flower. It's like. 
like one of these guys escaped and is like coming in in like a horror movie. But anyway, this bitch looks real catty right here. And this one, you can't see her. But we have this sort of semi-standard three chicks hanging out with the cups. But it, it looks a lot more gossipy than the usual like dancing around in a circle that you might see. This one. Do not trust her. Barbara is up to no good. Foghorn Leghorn came to mind all of a sudden. Alright, so we have the Four of Cups. These are pretty big here, but um, with sort of standard imagery, the Divine Hand, although it looks like some like Robin Hood up in the tree, like pouring shit on his head, but whatever. It's the the general idea. I think that's supposed to be a cloud, actually. Um, a young young guy hanging on a tree, dissatisfied with the cups. So that's fairly standard. Five of cups also more or less similar. So sometimes the person is wearing a black robe. Here it's kind of brown with some texture on it. And as per often with the five of cups, there's two behind the person. And what's kind of creepy is that the three in front have blood coming out of them apparently. And there's kind of a marsh over here. Six of Cups. So this is set up like in tears here. We're like in a we're in this shrub shop here. Interestingly enough, because all of these are full of flowers, and we have the two little kids here. More or less the same, but just a close-up. So here's the Seven of Cups, also set up in tears. This one is really strong for me. I don't know what's going on with this like um, robotic helmet here. It's kind of unusual. There's a severed head. Flowers. A big ass flower. Rotten fruit and a butterfly. Or possibly not rotten yet. And then a snake and the rainbow. Slightly similar and slightly different than some of the stuff. This is just totally not a dragon or a castle. But some of the stuff's the same, some of it's different. So Eight of Cups, again, set up in tiers. Um, the rest of the card's pretty standard. A lot of the time there'll be a moon in the picture and there's a water and the guy walking away from the cups. And mountains too. You see that often with the Eight of Cups. So Nine of Cups, so here's this sort of drunk guy with all his cups, but this is sort of like a cutaway, like a double view thing, because usually you see the guy and he's like standing in front of him like, haha, but this is kind of, looks like he's, this is like a view of the counter and then this is a separate view like behind the counter. But either way, this guy's got some stuff going on. He's pretty pleased with himself. Ten of Cups, so here's the cup with the rainbow again. A lot of the time there'll be a rainbow with the Ten of Cups. And you have a masculine and a feminine again in close up and then these are just kind of floating around there. Page of Cups with his fish. This has two roses in it too, which is kind of interesting and a little unusual. Fancy. I really, that fish is just so much character. Craziness. Knight of Cups. So he's got this ram. His shoulder is a ram. Is that? It's the Nine of Cups energy. Mm. It makes no sense, though, because the Nine of Cups energy is Aquarius and Pisces, but he still has a ram on his shoulder for reasons unbeknownst to science. I'm going to put this over here, I guess. <clears throat> and then he's got two roses as well. I feel like the two roses is sort of representative of the two of cups as a background idea, but he's got a plume on his helmet too. Queen of cups. See what I was talking about? These like weird like body sections like this. It's kind of strange, but there's the flower there. She's got this like electric situation going on too. It's kind of unusual and interesting. King of Cups with a nubbly helmet. Not like wholly interesting, but he does have a lot of character and detail. And color. 
Ace of Swords with two of those white flowers. Also, it's, I like the um, the sky, sort of pinky purpley sky. Two of Swords. So this lady that's practicing out back with her swords and her blindfold kind of looks like a banana there. Uh, it looks like she's naked as well. And we've got these partitions, but she's out there in the backyard practicing. Like usual, fairly standard Three of Swords, just done in the style of this deck. Four of Swords, also fairly standard. Although this time, is that usually? No, I guess usually the swords are hanging over and the Truth Swords underneath. Pretty much the same as, as you'd expect. Five of Swords. So this guy not like... He's not really sneaking around. It looks like he's just picking up off of like an empty battlefield. He's like, this guy gives me more scavenger. Uh, usually in the Five of Swords, there's two swords separate, but here it's sort of like, these could be the two separate swords or it could be these two up here. It's almost open to interpretation. Six of Swords. Let's see. Sometimes there's a like a woman and or a child, but this just looks like the the dude rowing the boat anyway. So if there's anybody in the boat, there'd be behind here. It's sort of um a, f a quail. It looks like a quail head, but it's it's not that different than what you'd see in the Six of Swords. A lot of the time, there's mountains in the background of the lake. My hands are dirty from this ink. Seven of Swords. This also isn't super active. It looks like somebody's scavenging, but we have the two separate ones and then the five ones, and he's obviously taking all that he can carry. Eight of Swords, fairly standard. Again, this woman is not naked. Like the, um, the world card. Otherwise, lightly tied, blindfolded, same, same. Nine of Swords, fairly similar, although I guess this is supposed to be the bed, but it looks like she's standing in front of like a sarcophagus or something. Maybe it's just drawn weird, but I mean, somebody who's woken up, usually a female, eyes covered, swords over her head, I think... I've seen them sideways like this, and I've seen them pointing down. Although I think in most tarot, they're usually sideways. Ten of Swords. Again, pretty standard imagery. Kind of a close-up of this guy. <laughs> He's got two of them in his ass. He ran out of room. Page of Swords. He looks like he's almost ready for his war helmet. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, so he doesn't have a plume, but he's got one of those little friggin' uh, like a is it Phoenicians or that had those kind of shaped hats or what was it? It was one of those people. They had those little Smurf shaped hats. I don't remember what the fuck they were. One of those like ancient groups of people, they had hats that were shaped like that. But his cat, it kind of looks like uh, like a World War One helmet. That's <laughs> well, I was gonna I was gonna say that got like combined with like a squash or something, but it looks like somebody put a condom over a helmet. Um, so Knight of Swords. I don't normally make fun of this guy. So he can cut you with that. Queen of Swords. She's armed and ready to go too. But she's not very threatening. She's got a lot of flowers too. Right, she like she's kind of guarded but uh inquisitive, let's put it that way. King of Swords, he's actually in battle right now. He's got look at all the plumes he's got coming out of his helmet. And he's got a oh see because he's not wearing his crown on his head he's got it on his shoulder. Interesting. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So in this deck the Pentacles are red, 
which is, you know, because usually they're like yellow or gold, and it just, it really stands out that they're red. Two of Pentacles, we got a Joanne hat on this kid over here, by the ocean as per usual. And we got this cat's cradle situation. The cogs in a machine. Three of Pentacles, fairly standard. We got this apprentice working on a cathedral. Out supervision. So this Four of Pentacles is slightly different. Usually it's a like a king that's sitting down with the two Pentacles under his feet. This one is like some weird, um, like a radio receiver hat, and this big one here, and then these two that are being held. So it's, it gives a slightly different energy, but it's sort of like maybe this is the thing that you want to keep. This that resonates in your head, and maybe not these. The slightly different configuration can give this card a like a flavored meaning that's a little different than normal Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, fairly standard. Well, this is actually the sky back here. So there's this like cathedral window floating in midair. Which is kind of, I haven't really noticed that before, but um, otherwise fairly standard. The Pentacles are in the cathedral window and there's the two People suffering down there, and you can tell it's winter because there's snow on the window sill. On the window sill. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this isn't. It does have a balance in it. Um, a little bit different than normal. So we have these six Pentacles just kind of stashed around, and this guy looks a little bit more judgy. But it's it's sort of like you don't see the the two poor people that would, in theory get these pentacles. So it's a close-up. It's a little bit, just like a little bit more of an idea of duality. Um, how have I not run out of time yet with this deck? Seven of pentacles. I think there's often a bird in this deck here. It looks more like a goose. Oh no, I'm thinking of the nine, my bad. Okay. So, that might actually be a cane. So we have this person here, this kid or woman or whoever the hell it is, looking at their pentacles bush. And this is interesting because there's one big one in the middle. Um, pretty similar, just a close up. Eight of pentacles. So a lot of the times there's a right angle in, in the thing, but we see that this guy is working in the pentacle shop. Pretty standard, just a close-up. Okay, so here's the Nine of Pentacles, the bird of paradise there. And what's interesting is it's split. There's three pentacles on the bird and six on the lady. Uh, it can change the meaning of the card uh, depending on how you're reading it with the those split like that. Um, but again, there's just general imagery of the garden that's, that's growing and she's got all six pentacles from that six of pentacles card plus these other ones ten of pentacles this is kind of like a, um, a zoomed out view of what you would normally get but there's the castle and the two people and you see kid there's no pets or no old guy but I mean you get the general idea it's pretty similar <clears throat> so the page of pentacles this guy's a little older than some of the other pages he's got a mustache. But you can see from this that he's got a pretty big honking pentacle he's delivering. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. You can tell he's on a horse, but you can't see it. He's like the... He's like that Old Spice guy. I'm on a horse. And I got plumes. He's not riding really fast though. He looks like he's just kind of like, like rolling along. Queen of Pentacles. So she's got ermine, ermine furs, ermine furs, and a big honking pentacle. This is weird because all she has is sky behind her. Usually the Queen of Pentacles is very green, but it's just a little different than usual. 
and the king here. So not only because of that, um, well, partly because of that, though, I just get, like, huge Taurus vibes with the King of Pentacles, but I believe he is... <sighs> yeah, he's Aries and Taurus. And then his Pentacle is huge. So that's the Aquarian Tarot. I don't really have anything exciting to say about it. I mean, it's just... it It does tend to give a different flavor to readings than other decks would just because the artwork is different can lead to different interpretations like a lot of like I might end up getting more devil energy than I normally would have because of all those red pentacles especially if the card was inverted so you can see they're pretty crispy mine are a little bent because I've been using them for a while uh, the edges are kind of sharp because I did trim them but it's not really any more difficult well might be a little bit more difficult to shuffle them now that they're trimmed because it's a little bit stiffer overall. Um, but they're they're generally pretty easy to shuffle. If they're not trimmed, they'll go sideways a little bit easier, I think. So, the Aquarian Tarot. I like it. I recommend it. It's got cool artwork. All right. So if you want to get a personal reading, you can hit me up. My cheat sheet doesn't really need to be in the frame. Uh, the complete list of readings I have. Let me try to focus this better and probably end up making it worse. Uh, in the description box underneath here. Uh, I think that could probably be better. No. I need new glasses. Um, so if you want to get a reading, you can check them out down there with prices. Um, if you'd like to donate, that's PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo, and then I've got stuff you can get if you want. I've got, um, coloring books, dark poetry, um, merch and prints and actual art items. A lot of that's going to be, um, psychedelic, colorful. I've got chapbook packs, which in Etsy which is like synchronicity stimulus packets actual art items like these guys or stuffed animals I got a couple and then um, drawings paintings etching watercolor stuff like that uh, over on Etsy um, I think that's it don't forget to like share subscribe comment check out my playlists tab my discussion tab and stay groovy and we'll see you later bye